three, two, one. Hey everyone, <laughs> my name's Scott Tarbox. I'm an artist working and living in Houston, Texas. And today, Pain in the Swamp. <laughs> So like I said, we're painting the swamp. Not really, but it's Beaumont. It's a swampy area. It's a place I went a lot as a kid. Most of my dad's extended family is from there. My grandma lived there. So every Christmas, Thanksgiving, everything, we'd all go up there until she passed away. Pretty frequent yearly tradition. And a lot of times also we'd go to Anahuac Park, a place where there's lots of alligators and birds and stuff and uh, have a grand old uh, childhood time looking at gators. I was kind of excited to be included in this festival since it is dear to my childhood and memories as a kid, but also it's organized by Jay Musax, an artist out of Austin, who's a friend of mine and also a street artist. A lot of the things he did and provided for the artists were really top notch. He really advocated for the fair compensation and treatment of artists and making sure everything was taken care of. The organization, communication, preparation, everything was just so well done. There were more or less four different areas where people were painting and I was in kind of my own area, but a lot of that happened because originally I was painting a five story tall building that was about 80 feet wide. Would have definitely been the biggest mural I've ever painted. Did the design kept working on it, eventually had to part ways with the owner of the building because he more or less just wanted a commission. He was, you can be a little, you know, specific if you're at a mural festival getting a wall painted for free, but if you try to set the parameters too much and you're not paying any money for the mural, it, it's not really a fair situation for the artists involved. So I decided to walk from that situation, but we will get into all of that later. First things first is designing the uh, gator. The idea behind this design was to do something that really showcased what Beaumont meant to me. And as I said, I came here as a kid, fond memories of looking at alligators, and I really wanted that to be what I left behind for people to be maybe introduced to my work. Something fun, a little spooky, but overall a happy-go-lucky kind of gator fishing out on the water. Done checking into my hotel, so now I'm gonna go meet Jay. My wall isn't actually confirmed yet, so uh, I'm gonna be looking at three or four different walls and then picking one and then starting either today or tomorrow. And then also dropping off this cute little stuffed animal that my partner, Avi, made for Kimmy Flores. Isn't that cool? Isn't that dope? Cute little thing, tail. I don't quite have my wall confirmed. Meantime, I've been messing with my new drone and this is the first time I'm taking it flying. So yeah, I still have a lot to learn about flying it and stuff. I'm gonna practice some, but luckily there's a lot of automation already built into it so I can do things while I'm painting. There are three walls that I'm potentially getting. I've picked them in priority based on visibility. The last pick is one that I may have to paint and my reason for picking it last is just that it's really difficult to film it. It's in an alleyway, but I will do what I can with whatever I get. So I'll be finding out tomorrow morning. In the meantime, playing with this thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so I finally got a wall. We were talking about this wall and potentially two more. The first one being one downtown that was gigantic and very exciting, but I was actually worried that I didn't have enough paint or time to pull it off. I would have if we got it, but it didn't work out. So in my opinion, this is the best pick and we got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start buffing it and sketching everything today and then moving on tomorrow. <laughs> really hoping to get the background done yesterday the first day of painting but since I couldn't start till about three waiting on the lift it got dark before I could finish it but we've finished it now first thing on the second day I am gonna go ahead and do the drop shadows first so that I don't have to spend unnecessary paint getting rid of the doodle grid and then I'll cut with the buff paint and do the little circle that's going behind him as well Of the festival well technically I could work tomorrow Monday but after today it's gonna start raining for the next three days so very important that I finish today I made great progress yesterday and I just kind of have to make the same progress today <laughs>
So I managed to finish this just on time and get the footage I needed before the rain came and drove back home to Houston. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, or hitting the bell. These things really help my channel grow. In the next video, I'll be painting murals inside an indie game development company's office in Austin, Texas. Special thank you to all my patrons and see you all in the next one.